Let's talk some content, viewership data, unique viewership data from Netflix. Just released this afternoon, Jenny Horn's got the developing story. Doesn't seem to be moving the market too much, but this is a pretty novel piece of information we're getting from this company now, right? It is, because they've declined to release their full viewership before. So now we're getting more of a glimpse of what that looks like with this This now the report we get every six months from Netflix, which is called What We Watch, a Netflix engagement report, again, twice a year. But okay. this is a comprehensive report, basically breaks down three metrics, that's hours viewed for every title, the release date, and whether the title was available globally. In total, they said that the report covers more than 18,000 titles representing around 99% of all viewing on Netflix and nearly 100 billion hours viewed. So now the top performing program from January to June was the Night Agent, which had over 812 million hours viewed. Okay. Following, I don't know any of these. Yeah, names. I'm trying so, not to interrupt because I'm like. I I know because do I you know I, any of these shows. So Ginny and Georgia, I've heard of. That's 665 million hours viewed, and then the Glories first season and the um, Wednesdays first season. I do know that, and Queen Charlotte, which is like some version of Bridgerton. But this, I oh, been, I saw that sound. That looks horrible. Well, Who's I was watching. Bridgerton spinoffs. Well, hundreds of thousands of millions. I mean, a lot of people actually, according to this. But, but it's important to know, content's only included no. in this list if you do have more than 50,000 hours watched. So that's, I guess that they say that this is 99%. But what I found way more interesting, honestly, about this report was three different times they basically said, we already released this data. They have their top 10 and their, their weekly best performers. They've had that since 2021. Mm -hmm. So it was like they were talking somewhat out of two sides of their mouth saying this is revolutionary for different creators and revolutionary for our studio. But then they also were basically saying at the same time, we already do this. Hmm. So I think a huge reason they're saying this is because a huge contention during the writer strike we've seen that was ongoing, obviously, and impacting these various studios was now the, the new contract does require more streaming data. So I think this was okay. basically their way to help appease the strike. This wasn't necessarily their doing. So they're basically trying to backtrack and say, well, we already kind of did this. So that's why I think shares aren't reacting because this was something they doesn't really move the needle sure. and they were somewhat, I think, forced into a corner to do. Well, I guess they should be giving a raise to the writers of The Night Agent starring <laughs> Gabriel Basso. I have never even heard I of I don't this. know who these people are. You know what they should do? They should do like the Spotify yearly, like what you watch curated to you. That would be interesting. Like yeah, your, the, your, your Netflix rap. Right. I just thought they were going to have uh, their six month review was just going to be suits. Everybody watched suits and nothing else. Because that's what I thought everybody was watching when they didn't have their writers. Yeah, I don't know any of the actors. I haven't even heard of this show. Okay, but uh, it's a good thing I'm not paying for Netflix anymore. I guess international viewers, do they uh, like uh, that's included for this? It is. So maybe it's coming from that. I don't know. All right, we got to brush up on our Netflix content. <laughs> I guess. Thanks, uh, Jenny Horn. When we come back.